Hello everyone, my name is Hunter Konsler and I'm the Inside Business Development Manager for Canada and Southeast Asia here at CTC. Today, I will be going over how our vibration monitoring products can actually help within the steel industry and the challenges and benefits that may arise. Before I get started, I would like to give a company-wide background of what CTC is all about. CTC is located in Victor, New York, which is a suburb out of Rochester, New York. We have been a family owned and operated business for the past 25 years, and we were the first to introduce the unconditional lifetime warranty on our products. We are ISO 9001 certified, and all of our products are built in the United States to serve the industrial vibration market. All products are designed and tested in-house to meet the demands of the harsh conditions and environments of the industrial world. Also, all of our products are compatible with all major data collectors, analyzers, and online systems on the current market. So let's get started on the background of the steel industry. The steel is the world's most important engineering and construction material. One of the main reasons for that is that steel is a very robust material that can also be recycled over and over again for multiple uses. And also it comes without any loss of property. Steel is used in almost every aspect of our lives, including equipment in our cars, construction material, refrigerators and washing machines, electricity power lines and natural gas pipelines, and even in our military weapons. Without the usage of steel, the development of the industrial world would have been much more difficult. As many people know, the process of producing steel can be difficult and dangerous. A steel mill undergoes some of the harshest conditions when creating and processing steel. The machines within the plant are put through brutal conditions, which include hot temperature, Danger, dangerous chemicals and toxins, and heavy usage. To give you a scope of the machines and procedures involved with producing steel, I will give you a brief overview of that process. Simply put, steel making is the process of producing steel from iron ore. As you can see in this diagram to the left, materials and metals are separated through the coke plant which then bring the iron ore to the blast furnace. The iron ore is then heated and melted where the imperfections are removed and carbon is then added. Today, most of the steel that is made is by two different processes, one through the blast furnace that you see here and the other being an electric arc furnace. These EAFs are used to produce special quality steels and unlike the blast furnaces, they do not use any hot metals. They use scrap metals from recycled products instead. Other common machinery in the steel mill include rolling mills, quench boxes, continuous casting machines, and many more. The steel mill also has the standard conveyors, motors, heaters, pumps, cranes, and other basic machinery. There are a few common failures with machinery in this specific industry. For starters, improper lubrication is a big one because of the hot temperatures and heavy and constant usage of this machinery. Improper lubrication can cause buildup inside of bearings or they can damage and wear down machine parts over time. Other common failures include bearing issues within the rolling mills, gearbox issues with the overhead cranes, and also improper rebuilds of the bearings as they are not always properly set for clearances. There are some unique challenges that occur within the industry when trying to monitor the machinery. Like I mentioned before, there are many areas where hot temperatures are active, including near the blast furnaces and hot rolling mills. These areas can cause many safety concerns for the workers 
from these dangerous chemicals and airborne toxins. Improper handling can lead to extreme burns, blindness, and even lung damage. The heavy machinery is also another concern for safety. As time goes on, machines tend to deteriorate and could eventually lead to catastrophic failures, uh, which can then result in serious injury. All of these reasons result in the limited accessibility to these machines. This goes to show the importance of monitoring these machines as it is essential for the safety and well being of the workers and the facilities as a whole uh, to reduce any disastrous events from occurring. When deciding what machines to monitor and what products would be most suitable, you have to take into account many different values within these facilities. If you need to continuously monitor or not, depending on how valuable the critical asset is to your production, that is where you know CTC and us come into, into play and where we can help. Because the industry involves many different types of machinery, the types of sensors and techniques may vary. Here you can see on the left our most popular sensors within the steel industry, our general purpose accelerometers. These sensors are efficient in every environment in the industrial world and come in both cost effective and premium options. These sensors come in both top exit and side exit options made with 316L stainless steel and are all hermetically sealed. Meaning, you know, these sensors are very ideal for this type of environment as the seal blocks any materials and liquids from entering these sensors. These 100 millivolt per G two pin dynamic sensors are perfect for most vibration readings within a facility. The main difference between the AC 102 here and the AC 210 is the dynamic range. The AC 102 has a dynamic range of plus or minus 50 G's, while the AC 210 has a dynamic range of plus or minus 80 G's. Moving on to one of our newest products, and a very exciting product is the ultrasound sensor on the right hand side. The UEB 330 is a high frequency ultrasound accelerometer that has a high amplitude resonance peak. This sensor is great for measuring high frequency applications and has a resonant frequency of 44 kilohertz. Like I mentioned before, improper lubrication is a really common failure within the steel industry. So the ultrasound sensors can actually help determine the appropriate levels to avoid failures in both friction and metal on metal contact. So because of the varying temperatures uh, within a steel mill, temperature sensors are very popular for reading the temperatures of the machines. These sensors will be able to let the analysts know if the machine is operating at a proper temperature, and if not, it will allow them to plan for a shutdown uh, to help reduce the heat of a specific machine. Uh, we offer sensors that strictly measure the temperature of the machine, which are the TC220 and TC224. Uh, and we also offer dual output sensors that measure the dynamic vibration and the overall temperature of the machine, which are the TA202 and TA204 on the right hand side. These sensors will be measured in Celsius. We also offer high temperature accelerometers, which are very useful for the steel industry because of the hot temperatures throughout. The AC207 and AC208 on the left-hand side are resistant to temperatures upwards of 162 degrees Celsius. These are both 100 millivolt per G two pin sensors with a large dynamic range of plus or minus 80 Gs. CTC also offers an even higher temperature sensor that is resistant to temperatures upwards of 343 degrees Celsius. As you can see on this diagram, these sensors incorporate a permanently attached insulated integral cable, which then protects the sensor's electrical conductors inside. These sensors utilize an external amplifier, which protects the amplifier from the heat source where the sensor is actually located. Like I stated before, these are great options to have uh, when mapping out a reliability program, specifically for the steel industry. 
Moving on to our four to 20 milliamp output options, our LP sensors are a great way to continuously monitor machines and receive trending data over time. All of our LP sensors can be configured on our website, which allows the customer to select the measurement range, range type, frequency range, and any integral cabling options that we have available. Our LP200 series, which is on the left-hand side, produces a velocity output. The LP300 series on the right-hand side produces an acceleration output. And our LP400 series is actually a dual output with dynamic vibration and 4 to 20 milliamp vibration as well. This LP400 series can actually offer the best of both worlds when trying to decide how you would like to monitor your equipment. Another way to have the ability to receive a dynamic output plus a 4 to 20 milliamp output is through the use of the signal conditioner, which is on the right hand side here. Uh, these will consist of a dynamic sensor that is wired to a signal conditioner, which then allows you to receive a dynamic reading through the BNC jack on the front, while also being able to convert that dynamic reading to a 4 to 20 milliamp reading that can be wired to an online monitoring system. These signal conditioners are field configurable and allow you to measure a wide variety of machines and data throughout the field. Moving on to our connectors, our A2A is the most popular two style connector. Uh, we have many different options as well, including you know, anywhere from a three socket connector to even our own mini mill connectors for compact sensors like the ultrasound sensor I stated before. Uh, we also offer different BNC plugs and jacks and various connectors and cabling options for all major data collectors and analyzers on the market. We also offer connectors that create a watertight seal, which is our V-Series Viton boot. These connectors are IP68 rated and are our most rugged connectors which is great for those harsh conditions and different type of chemicals and toxins that may be in a steel mill. Uh, the PPS Viton boot uh, is great for the high temperatures also seen in a steel mill as well. Moving on to our cabling options, uh, CTC has a very large variety of cabling. If you need a cable, we more than likely have what you are looking for. Um, in addition to our polyurethane offerings, we also offer FEP jacketed cabling, armor, and braided armor cabling as well. From my communication with experts in the steel industry, armor cabling options are the most ideal solutions uh, to withstand those conditions of the steel industry. Now onto our mounting hardware. Uh, we always recommend that our sensors are directly mounted to the machine thus allowing the best possible frequency response from the sensor. Uh, we also provide installation kits for all different sizes for drilling and tapping into a machine. We know that direct mounting may not always be an option, which is why CTC also offers a variety of different mounting hardware, uh, which includes flat surface magnets and curved surface magnets like you see in the left hand side there, as well as adhesive mounting hardware like the adhesive pad and epoxy seen on the left. Uh, CTC also supplies Zerk adapters to allow for proper lubrication in machines and this adapter is used directly with our ultrasound sensor as well. As I mentioned before, inaccessibility can be an issue in these facilities as to why having a permanently mounted junction box and solution uh, would be ideal for the vibration analyst uh, just to take the data collection on these routes. Uh, these will not only save them time and money, but also provide more safety while taking these collections on their routes. Uh, we offer a variety of different switch boxes and enclosures uh, that allow for readings from sensors, signal conditioners, and even our proximity probe drivers. All of these boxes are available in fiberglass and stainless steel options. For route-based collection, 
our JV series featured on the left hand side um, offers a flip down panel for wiring. Um, the screws on the top of that flip down um, actually can come undone, undone and then allow access to the wiring on the back. And then the, when the wiring is completed, they can actually be stored away. Uh, this box also features an IEP bias indicator and a latch on the door to allow the interior of the box to be protected from the outside elements. Uh, we also offer these boxes in biaxial and triaxial options for up to 24 to 48 channels. Another option we have includes our enclosed BNC boxes, the MX-102 and MX-202. These boxes on the right hand side also come in fiberglass and stainless steel and allow for the analyst to walk up to the junction box and take a reading straight from those BNC jacks. This box allows up to 12 channels. Moving on to our signal conditioner enclosures, uh, these boxes provide 4 to 20 milliamp signals along with dynamic outputs uh, from those remotely installed that may be hard to reach, um, which then get fed back to either a PLC or DCS system or to a portable data collector for that BNC jack. This allows for easy access and repeatability while receiving a constant 4 to 20 milliamp signal with an available dynamic reading through that BNC jack that I stated before. Uh, these boxes also come in fiberglass or stainless steel and have the ability to store one to four or five to eight signal conditioners. On the right hand side, you will see our proximity probe driver enclosures as well, the PXE150. This enclosure accommodates up to six proximity probes and protects those components from oil, water, and any other chemicals or toxins that would be in the steel industry. Uh, this enclosure allows for the wiring of the proximity probes back to an online monitoring system, and these also come in fiberglass or stainless steel as well. Speaking of our proximity probes, uh, probes are very common in the steel industry when measuring large turbines or turbo generators. CTC offers the standard size proximity probes that are on the market including our 5, 8, 11, and 25 millimeter proximity probes. All of these sizes can be supplied with either a standard or armored cable. Also, all of our proximity probes come already with an IP68 rating, and we also offer compatible drivers and extension cables for all systems. The drivers have multiple different output options, such as 4 to 20 milliamp voltage, radial, axial, and RPM. We also offer these systems with hazardous area approvals on all probe systems that we currently offer. Overall, CTC can provide many benefits uh, for vibration monitoring, specifically within the steel industry. The most important reason to have a reliability program is to limit any unexpected shutdowns or downtime on critical assets, uh, which in turn lead to more profit. Also, our products will be able to reduce any safety hazards that are common within the industry while giving the analysts the ability to measure inaccessible areas safely. And lastly, the CTC unconditional lifetime warranty. When choosing CTC, you are choosing a product that we trust, which is why it is backed by an unconditional lifetime warranty. Uh, all CTC labeled products are backed by this warranty and all pro label products have a lifetime warranty on materials and workmanship. The pro products shown in this presentation besides the proximity probes will be switching over to the CTC label starting at the beginning of the new year, which will provide these products with the unconditional lifetime warranty as well. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation on the steel industry and the solutions that CTC can offer. Uh, if you have any questions or need anything at all, please feel free to reach out to your regional sales manager and they would be more than happy to help. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.